So here I am at the Shea Howe textbook, and I'm on the section called Getting to Know HTML. If you're like me, when you're reading things about programming, you read them and you nod along, even when you don't always completely understand what they were talking about, and you wish there was some sort of example or, you know, like a teacher showing you in real time what's going on. Well, Shea Howe uses CodePen, and that's one of the reasons I really like this textbook. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. As you scroll down, you'll definitely see that there's places where there's code while you're reading. Oh, for instance, right here. You can see that they're talking about divisions, and they've given a little text, and it's, it's HTML, and, and you understand the code, but you don't really know what it looks like. Well, if we scroll down a little bit further, you'll come across code that's actually inside something called CodePen. What you want to look for is this caption right here. It actually says edit on code penned on it. So let's see what happens when I click on this link. What code pen does is it gives you a chance to see the HTML and also perhaps the CSS and JavaScript. I know that you don't necessarily understand CSS or JavaScript yet. You may, you may not, but you can still always play with all the different parts. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. And you can see that they've put in the code for heading level one, level two, level six. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to change it. And I'm going to say, what happens if I change this H3 to an H1? Go over here. You can see that the heading level three, even though it says heading, le heading level three, is much bigger. I love CodePen, and I really encourage you to always click on it and go in and see what happens when you type things in. You don't need an account, although you can definitely have one. It's a great way to feel like you really understand and own the content.